Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil, and welcome back to a super exciting episode of Super Mario 64, playing on the Nintendo Switch. And thanks to Super Mario 3D All-Stars, we actually have three classic games all combined into one. Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. Now I'm going to be doing a walkthrough series on all three games, but today's episode is getting us started on the series for Super Mario 64. And within the series, I'm going to show you how to collect all 120 Power Stars. I'm going to show you how to grab every single Power Star in every level, plus all the Secret Stars. So without further ado, let's jump right into this game and have a blast while we're playing it. So let me grab a new file. And let's get started. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I've baked a cake for you. Princess Toadstool. This seems kind of fishy. I don't. I don't. It's for some reason, I don't believe her. So the way that we're gonna play this game or, or, or this series is, I'm gonna cover um, at one map per episode. So the first map that we're gonna cover is actually Bomb Bomb Battlefield, and I'll show you all about it as we get started. And then uh, we're gonna go through and collect every single Power Star in that map and then we're going to move on to the other one so that's kind of how these episodes will be laid out here's the man of the hour Mr. Blue Eyes you've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via a warp pipe using the controller is a piece of cake press B to jump and Y to attack press A to read signs too use the L stick to move, move Mario around now head for the castle Yep, there we go. So we got the classic triple jump. And the long jump. And the... maybe... There we go. The cartwheel jump. Well, I didn't actually do it because I grabbed the tree. One of these trees has a mushroom in it. A uh, one-up mushroom? Let's see. There it is. Boom, there we go. Starting out the game the right way. Five extra men. Alright, so let's make our way into the castle. Oh, wait, we've got to be introduced to the Lakitu Bros. Good afternoon, Lakitu Bros here, reporting live from just outside the Princess's Castle. Mario has just arrived on the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. As a seasoned cameraman, we'll be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera with the R stick. Alright, so we're going to skip through that because that's basically how to use the camera, which I think we all know how to do. Welcome. No one's home. Now scream and don't come back. Well, that's not very... That wasn't very nice, Bowser. Alright, so the first... Uh, the only um, door that we can actually get into is this first one here. And it's the Bomb on Battlefield. So let's jump right into this map and collect every single Power Star from this particular level. So, the first one that we're going after is Big Bomb on the Summit. Wow, you're smack in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the painting worlds. First, talk to the bomb bomb buddy. He'll certainly help you out, and so will his comrades in other areas. To read signs, press A. Okay, I think we can skip on. So we're not actually not going to talk to these dudes just yet. We need to talk to them on the third power star when we go to co um, collect the star on top of the floating island. But the first thing that we're going to do is run all the way to the top of the mountain, and we're going to defeat our very first boss, actually, of this game, and collect our very first Power Star. Here we go. Now, there, there, obviously, there's some faster ways to get up the mountain. Like, if you go watch some of those speedrunners, I mean, holy cow, they, they are uh, they're really fun to watch, honestly. But I'm just going to go up the side of the mountain the way that I know how to go. And that's okay. So we run over here, we'll grab this little warp, this little teleport. It's going to just jump us up a little bit higher on the mountain. And then this dude is waiting for us at the top. I'm the big bomb bomb, lord of all blasting matter, king of the kabooms, world over. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my imperial mountaintop? You may have eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp, and you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario, and if you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me to the royal turf? I think you cannot. 
Well, sir, I think that I can because you're notoriously known for being the easiest boss in the game, so. All we're going to do is pick this dude up three times, toss him on the royal turf, as he called it, and we'll collect our very first power star. A little trick right here, um, all you have to do is just kind of wait for him and backflip over him. Makes it makes it for an easy, easy win. One, two, three. There we go. What? Can it be that a pipsqueak like you has defused the bomb bomb king? You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Me thinks my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here's your power star, as I promised, Mario. If you want to see me again, then select the star from the menu. I don't think I want to see you again, dude. Alright, guys, there we go. First power star of the game. Only 119 to go. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of regretting this now. Alright, so you've recovered one of the stolen power stars. You can open some of the other doors. Yep, so we are not going to do that just yet. We're going to jump right back into this map and take care of the other power stars. Power star number two is the foot race with Koopa the Quick. Now this one's kind of fun. Koopa the Quick is standing right over here and he wants to race me to the top of the mountain. Hey Mario, is it true that you beat the big bomb bomb? Cool, you must be strong and pretty fast. So, how fast are you anyway? Um, how about a race to the top of the mountaintop? Yep, I think we'll do it. Let's go. Now, honestly, this guy is really not that fast at all. I mean, I guess being so so uh, early in the game, they they like to take it easy on you, but he is not fast. You'll have no... Oh my gosh! Talking all this trash. And I <laughs> fell off the side of the mountain. Holy cow. Now I'm actually going to have to run fast. Or he's going to beat me. Alright, let's take my little shortcut. Go, go, go! I don't know how many times I've played this level. I have never, ever done that. There he is, there he is! I gotta make it fast pace, fast pace. Come on, go, 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 go. Go. Alright, so he's not gonna take the warp. I'm gonna take the warp. And I'm gonna win. Haha. -ha. I still won. That was a bit scary, though. Usually I get up here in about 20 seconds earlier. I have actually never done that. I guess that's what I get for talking trash. I was talking too much smack about poor Koopa. Koopa Troopa. Alright, dude. Come over here and give me my star. Whoa, you really are fast. A human blur. Here you go. You've won it fair and square. There we go. Power star number two, guys. Foot race with Koopa the Quick. I collected a whole four stars. Okay, so let's dive right back in. Next star on the list is Shoot to the Island in the Sky. So here's where we're going to actually talk to the little pink dudes. Little pink bomb moms. We're going to punch them in the face and say, Hey, we're peace-loving bomb moms, so we don't use the cannons, but if you'd like to blast off, we don't mind. Help yourself. Well, thank you, Mr. Pink Bomb. Ready for blast off. You can reach a star on the floating island by using the four cannons. Yep, I know. So what I typically do is jump in this first cannon, I blast myself across the map here to the other cannon, and then you'll see why here in just a second. Makes it a little bit easier to get to the, to the island. So this cannon, if you look right here, you can see the very tip top of that tree. And this cloud right here, these clouds actually don't move. This was before good graphics, right? So these clouds don't actually do anything. So, but if we take the bottom cursor and aim up just a little bit, right in the middle of that piece of that cloud there, then you'll be shot right to the tree and grab on, and then you can grab your third power star. Here we go! Here we go. 
Guys, we're making super, super good progress. Super fast. Alright, so uh, you've recovered three power stars. Now you can open more doors. But we don't, we don't want to do that yet. We want to go back into this map. And we want to grab more power stars. So find the eight red coins. Now here is where we have an opportunity to grab two stars in one run. So while we're grabbing the eight uh, red coins, we're actually going to go and grab a total of a hundred coins. So we're going to find every block, every coin, every enemy. We're going to uh, grab every coin until we get to a hundred. And what that's going to do is it's going to give us one of the castle secret stars. Um, and it's going to give us a star for collecting a hundred coins. And we're going to do this in every single level. And I typically like to do this when I'm gathering uh, the eight red coins because I'm already grabbing the coins anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and grab just a bunch more and to go ahead and knock this out. Now the cool thing about the um, the 100 coin power star is it, it doesn't actually teleport you out of the level. So when you collect it, it'll just pop up and say, hey, you've collected this star. Do you want to save? And you just hit yes and then you can keep going forward and go and grab the next star. So we'll probably try to do that on most of these levels. If we can't do it on some of the levels, it's probably because it's too hard of a level. And I and I, sometimes I'll ch try not to do that on some of the harder levels. But we'll see how it goes. So we'll grab these two coins here. Alright, so I've already collected the coins from those dudes. So even though they respawn, they don't actually have any other coins. So we'll make our way up to here, and we'll have a turtle and some Goombas over here. Now, we want to grab this turtle shell, if we can, without getting hit in the face with a Goomba. And uh, actually grab that turtle as well, because the turtle will give us a five... Give us a blue coin that's worth five coins. So, where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, get it before it... There it goes. I was afraid it was going to despawn. So let's grab this coin before it despawns. Grab that Goomba's coin. And grab this turtle shell if I can. The camera angle is terrible. It's kind of stuck. Like I'm hitting the turtle shell, but it won't grab it. There we go. So we're going to run over here and grab this red coin and these three Goombas. Let's grab these coins. Try not to hit any solid objects or you'll lose your turtle shell. Let's see if I can angle this just right and grab this red coin. Yep, there we go. Got it. And then we'll hopefully adjust the camera angle a little bit and grab the coin from this dude. Can't catch me. There we go. Grab that coin. Let's see if we can sneak this. Nope, didn't get it. Don't hit any solid surfaces or you lose your turtle shell, so careful of that. Let's see if I can grab this coin. Oh, almost. Oh, I lost my shell. Alright. Trying to get hit in the face with this gigantic dog. And then we're going to make a left right here, and there's some enemies and a box. And, and these random poles here. Oh, and some red coins too. So we'll go ahead and grab those while we're here. Alright, and then this spot right here is actually where the red, the red coin star will spawn. Now what we're going to do is these little poles right here, if you make five, I think it's five laps around uh, clockwise, you'll get five coins from each of these poles. So that will be an easy way to get some coins. So we'll run some more. Oh, there we go. It's really fun to do this in the turtle shell, which is kind of why I was disappointed that I lost my turtle shell. So there's five more. And we are going to be well over 60 coins already. So you can see it does not it's not too bad. I mean, it, it seems like a lot of coins to collect, but it's really not. Alright, so there's a box right here we can bust. This will give us, I think, three. Throw this against the wall. Grab three coins. I missed it. I thought I grabbed it. The camera is so bad. No, don't go away. Oh, I think I missed it. Oh well. There's plenty more. So we'll grab these dudes and make them run into each other. There we go. Over here. Come meet your brother. 
There we go. Grab this coin. There's some coins over here with a one up, actually, as well. There's that. And let's grab this one up. There's another one up down here with a red coin and another coin from an enemy. So we're doing really good right now, guys. So there's one more coin. Where did it go? Oh, it went through the gate. Can I get it? Oh, got it. Cool. Let's make sure I don't get run over by a bowling, a bowling ball. Make our way over here. Let's see, I've collected all the coins from these enemies, so they won't have any more, even though they've respawned into the game. Let's see if I can make a long jump and head on up. Grab the seventh red coin. Now the the eighth red coin is actually on the floating island. We're at 81 coins, so we're doing really good on coins. And I'm gonna go right over here and grab this other little enemy. To grab another one. Let's punch him in the head. Come on. There we go. Grab the coin from him. All right, let's head on up the mountain. Now, we're going to actually go past the little warp cave there, and we're going to grab this enemy, and there's five, there's about ten coins right here, so we'll be up to about 93. Perfect. And then, yep, there's 93. Now we're going to jump in this cannon right here. And actually head right on over to the floating island, grab the eighth coin, the eighth red coin, sitting on top of that tree right there. Boom. Now, the thing with the 100 power, uh, the 100 coin power star is it's going to spawn on the last coin that you actually collected. So, I may have to go in this cannon a couple of times to grab the star. So, I'm going to go the first time to grab five coins. And then I'm probably going to have to go back through. Yep. So, I'm going to have to jump back into the cannon and get launched back up to the floating island. And I want to grab that one first. If I grab this this power star for the eight red coins first, it'll actually teleport me out and I'll lose all the progress and lose that star. I'll have to do it all over again. So, just make sure that you grab the 100 coin power star first so you don't get teleported out. And that way you can grab two stars with run, one run. And we'll do that, like I said, for most levels, um, unless we, we decide not to because it's a little, a little too hard to grab all the coins while we're grabbing the eight red coins. We may still go ahead and grab the 100 coin star with another star, but we'll probably not do all levels with the eight red coins. So there's that one. And then we're going to run right over there. Yeah, this is, this is what it looks like. You've collected 100 coins. Do you want to save? Yep. You do want to save. And see, it doesn't kick you out. So it makes it makes it easy to grab two stars with one run. And we'll go over here and grab the eight red coin star now. And it'll kick us out. And we can start on the next star. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Save and continue. All right, and so we're gonna just jump right back into it. Oh, Mario Wings to the Sky. This one's pretty fun. Now, I'm, I'm just gonna lay it out. There's there's a right way to do this, and then there's a, a really wrong way to do this uh, particular star, and we're definitely gonna do it the wrong way. So, <laughs> what you normally will do is um, you actually leave this level, and you'll go and grab the, uh, the Mario cap, wings wings cap power up and then you'll come back to this level and complete this star but we're actually going to do it without flying without the wing caps uh, power up so and I'll show you what we got to do to get the star so we're going to jump into this cannon now there are coins circles of coins that are out in front of this cannon and there's five of them so if you shoot right in the middle you should grab three one two three well, I, you should grab three. I, I think I aimed a little bit too high, so I might have to do this a couple more times. But basically all we're going to have to do for this particular uh, star is shoot in the rings. 
until you grab all five, and then you'll get a star for that. So, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You guys are probably, probably, probably have already caught on with what we're doing. So again, I'm going to aim for that like little piece of the cloud. It looks like a little nose sticking out. Grab that tree. And then I'm going to shoot for... I'm going to have to go ahead and shoot for right in the middle. And grab three. And then I'm probably going to have to do it two or three more times. Um so that I can get all of the rings plus I'll have to uh, give myself a little bit of wiggle room because I'll probably miss one so probably three more times but it's really not that bad it doesn't take too long at all honestly and what this allows me to do is put all the power stars into one episode instead of me having to like jump around it makes it a little bit easier for you guys to see uh, to sit down and kind of watch all the power stars in one episode so it's all for you guys I'm doing it for you Alright, so with 4 and 5, 4 is usually right here on the top coin. And then number 5 is going to be like, I think it's like 2 and a half or 1 and a half. I can't remember, I have to look. 2 and a half or 1 and a half uh, kind of squares or if you can draw an imaginary square, it's like 2 above the, the top coin. So let's... I'll show you what I'm talking about. That probably made zero sense, what I just said. So... <clears throat> Alright, so this was the middle. This was the top ring. So we're going to jump up maybe about two squares, maybe. Let's try it about right. Uh... I don't know, maybe like right there. Did I get it? Uh, oh, I got it! Yes! I thought I had missed it. Very cool. Alright. And there we go, guys. Five rings for a star. Mario wings to the sky. Alright, guys, so we are at six stars. So we got one more to go. Behind the Chain Chomps Gate. Now this is probably the fastest one to do. And you probably know which one it is. It's the one that's sitting right behind the gigantic dog. <laughs> but what you have to do is go over to the little uh, post that he's tied to and butt stomp it three times. Without getting demolished. Oh. One. Oh, I'm going to get hit. Yep. I'm not fast enough. Two three that's it 30 seconds no big deal so we'll run over here and there is star power star number seven behind chain chomps gate cool so that completes that entire map so what we're going to be doing in the next episode is actually coming over here. Now that we have a bunch of stars, we can go to a lot more levels. And we're going to be coming over here to this door. And this is where we'll stop this episode and start the next one. So thank you guys for so much for enjoying this content with me. And I will see you in the next episode.